discussion with us after this episode. This is the Discovery Channel's How the Universe Works, a review for extreme stars. This is the story of how the universe created stars and how stars went on to engineer everything else in the very universe. They changed the universe by spawning further generations of stars and then planets and eventually the building blocks of life. This is the... <laughs> Yeah, they, they're getting better. <laughs> Every time I like, it's like, it's like the best science video I've ever seen. Yeah, it's like, I, you see the, this is one of those where you see the last one, you're like, oh no, the next one can't be as good, and it's even better. And then you're like, no, the next one can't be as good, and it's even better. Uh, this one goes into star formations and how the, the um, stars burn out. I don't like, the, they use some terminology of nursery and violence and death, which is things aren't alive. I think they're just trying to emphasize the extremity of the processes that these materials go through and the massive amounts of heat and energy that are generated. This is really interesting. They show a, which I didn't know we had one, a fusion lab in uh, England where they can actually uh, create fusion for um, a split second. I don't know how they can harness that, and I don't know why you would want to go through all that trouble with an 80,000 pound machine just to verify how the process works if you're not going to be able to take it a step further before you build something like that. But it's utterly fascinating. I don't want to get, I don't want to sidetrack you. They also um, show the formation of basic elements from hydrogen by shooting, I don't know, I think they said 100,000 lasers at this little bitty, like, I don't know, a quarter of an inch target. And a high-speed camera actually recorded that. I wish they had, go, had gone into the camera itself. I don't know how you record something that is that brief, that fast, uh, and slow it down to where actually you can see anything. But another just utterly amazing thing. And they also, uh, in lab in California create plasma arts, which is a simulation or a small version, they say, of um, magnetic loops that come off the sun as solar flares that create solar wind, which we're supposed to get a, for us, a relatively large burst sometime next year in 2012. May, may fry all the electronics on the whole planet and may just uh, turn off a few satellites, fry the electronics on the inside melt them, fuse them, but we'll all get to wait and see about that uh, spectacular event. Hopefully there will be a camera with some kind of shielded battery backup, <laughs> so we'll actually get a, a live recording of it and we don't have to do the computer animation, but the computer animation on this one, once again, fantastic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to, I've never made a, a recording about each individual episode in a series for like a science documentary. This is up there with like, I don't know, I don't really know much to compare it to. Lord of the Rings, the Big Bang Theory, uh, I don't know, all the Sim Simpsons put together in one season. <laughs> Just, uh, it's an emotional extreme. Maybe every soap opera you have ever watched put together how emotional that is into a science documentary. And the scientists were understandable yet very descriptive and kind of emotional when they're trying to uh, convey, which is good, it's helpful, the extreme gratitude we should have living in this time period and uh, what immense, just um, almost unfathomable amounts of time and energy it takes to create which we are, the stardust that uh, just created everything that we see, everything we know. And it's, I'm fascinated more about how we think and our mental processes and, and life itself than this, but this is the building blocks of how we got a periodic table, where a helium atom possibly came from. And they mentioned in the end that eventually stars are going to burn out because helium is going to be used up. It's going to be and then... Uh, another form combined helium, there won't be uh, hydrogen left to form all the other elements. But hopefully uh, the material
materials are working in another universe through a black hole and they will switch out the matter and the antimatter and it will form hydrogen again. Hopefully that's the continual process that's going on and it won't burn out. But this is talking billions and billions of years before the stars burn out and trillions before all the hydrogen is used up and there aren't any left. And by that time they say our galaxy is going to merge into another one and they're telling uh, if we can stay on the road that we're on now of discovery uh, ever advancing into what we know it, in the way it's formed, we'll be able to hopefully control that uh, process and break enough uh, elements apart that they aren't going to be a black hole, which is my belief, um, back into hydrogen. More amazing stuff every day. On to the next episode.